You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Beautiful scents, they govern our lives. And that's the reason why over 10 years ago, I decided to get into collecting niche fragrances. I didn't have a clue, didn't have a blueprint. I just knew that I was turned on by them because they smelled so damn good. So I started my journey right here in New York. Sachs, Beardorf Goodman's, you name it, I was there. So today, it's all about the five fragrances, niche fragrances, that I feel you should start your fragrance journey with. So stay tuned, stay locked, and we'll be right back with five niche fragrances that everybody should start their journey with. So today I won't be providing bottles because it's just too hot. It's over 90 degrees in New York City and I just didn't feel like carrying the weight around. So the first fragrance that I would recommend if you want to get into this niche collection is by the House of Le Labo. And this fragrance is called Centel 33. Now in the fragrance arena, this is a giant. It's sexy, it's attractive, it's appealing. It's sandalwood, sandalwood, and more sandalwood. It's musky, it's woody, and it's everything that you need without being overbearing for you to start your niche fragrance collection. I highly recommend this fragrance because it won't choke anyone out. It'll give you the presentation that you need, and at the end of the day, you'll smell good, be sexy, and do what matters most. Smell that damn good. So once again, pick up a bottle of Le Labo's Santel 33. So my second niche fragrance that you should start your collection with is none other than Molecules 01. Now this fragrance right here is nothing but ISO E. But when you spray it on your skin, I mean it transforms, it creates, something that is a signature you and you won't smell like anyone else it won't break the bank but it's a beautiful scent once you begin to wear this fragrance this fragrance right here if i had to start any fragrance collection niche or design i would start with molecules 01 so once again if you want a fragrance that will do everything for you Without being overbearing, I suggest you start with Eccentrics Molecules 01. So the third niece fragrance that you should start your collection with is by the House of YSL and is Rue 24. Now, what you get out of this fragrance is sandalwood, but it is a beautiful, refined fragrance. And this fragrance can carry you through any event. I'm talking about wedding, I'm talking about work, I'm talking about date night, I'm talking about being casual, I'm talking about just being plain sexy for any occasion, any time, any reason. This fragrance is probably one of the most perfect fragrances that you can buy for what it's capable of doing. So once again, if you want a niche fragrance that will help you start your collection, I highly suggest that you invest in the house of YSL Rue 24. So the fourth niche fragrance that you should start your collection with is by one of the fragrance houses. I just consider them to be the Mount Olympus of all of the fragrance houses. It's, it's the house of Bikilium and it's straight to heaven. Now what do you get out of this? You get rum, you get vanilla, you get booze, and you get a sensuality. You get a sexiness. You get complete fire and desire out of this fragrance. Every time I wear this fragrance, it is a compliment getter. It is a magnet. It is, I feel like I'm walking down the street with another person. So if you wanna be provocative, if you want to be sensual, if you want to be an attention grabber, if you want to be somebody that's above the standard or the bar of what sexiness is, I highly suggest you invest 
taken straight to heaven by by Achilles. This fragrance is one of the best anywhere on this planet and you should have this fragrance in your collection. This is Rosendo M2 number five and this bottle is something that will make you come alive and everybody around you. Now we use the word sexy a lot, attractive, appealing, captivating, sensual, pulsating. This fragrance is all of that and so much more. This thing radiates. If you want the fragrance that is 10 notches above being sexy and take you to an stratosphere that is unlike anything else you could spray on and wear, this is the fragrance to have. This fragrance should definitely be in the niche fragrance collection. So if you're looking to start that collection, you need this fragrance. And you need it for all of the reasons that I just told you about. So Rosendo's Matu 05, an amazing scent for an amazing person. And why not you? So there you have it, five niche fragrances I believe you should start your collection with. Get your skin on it, get your nose on it, start the journey, and I guarantee you, if you engage these fragrances, what you're gonna find is splendor and fragrances that speak to your soul. So if you want some soul talkers, rush right out and pick up those five of these fragrances. Until the next show, as I always say, smelling sexy is mandatory, so why don't you?